Remember, hang on folks and enjoy this guy. I know you're going to love him. How about a big round of applause for Frank the Tank? Let him know! Come on, you can do better than that, sincerely. Well, you got to understand, I need the applause because, like, as long as I can remember, sincerely, I just always wanted to be a rock star. You know what I'm saying? Like... Growing up, I wanted to be up here with the girls and the big boobs down in the front row screaming for me, and I'm up here like ACDC, like, you shook me all night long. There's only one problem. I don't have any talent. So instead, I became a rock radio DJ. I'm on Sarasota's 105.9 Frank the Tank. I love classic rock. You know what I'm saying? But. There's one thing about Sarasota, do you notice? It's not a very rock and roll town. Like, I go on air at like three in the afternoon, which in Sarasota is early bird meatloaf and mashed potato time. <laughs> Sincerely. Well, now listen, I'm not judging. I didn't get this sexy ass figure by turning down dinners at Dirt Dutchman, you know? <laughs> but the thing is after 15 years, and I'm not gonna lie, like that rock radio DJ guy, just creeps out at like the most inopportune times. For instance, like a month ago, my sister-in-law, she calls and says, can you say a prayer at my daughter's christening? I'm like, sure, yeah, no problem. I get up there Sunday morning, congregation, family gathered around, choir in the back. I'm like, bow your head. God is great. God is good. We thank him for this blessed child. Christened in Jesus' name, this little sweet, sweet Caroline. Gotta do it. Good times never seem so good. Come on, Sunday. See, it's like Frank the Tank on a Sunday morning wake-up show. But, I mean, seriously, like, growing up, I thought to myself, you were either, like, a music guy or you were a funny guy. Like, you were either funny or you weren't. You know what I mean? Like, you speak Yiddish or you don't. You got a big wiener or you're me. Until... A friend of mine, he's a songwriter, and he's like, no, Frank, it doesn't work like that. He's like, you can't judge true artistry until you, like, speak it out into the world. He said, for instance, he was writing this song, and he's sitting there, he's like, it sounded kind of weird, and he's like, hmm, I like big butts. I see, ideas. Oh, and I cannot lie. I cannot lie. That's some George Washington cherry tree shit right there. Are you kidding me? I cannot tell a lie. It'd be like if George Washington were born 300 years later, he'd be like, yes, sir, I did cut down that cherry tree, and my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns. <laughs> the thing is, like, being a radio DJ, I swore, like, that experience would help me with my nerves up here on stage, I'm gonna tell you, it hasn't, like I'm terrified. Or at least, I mean, I was terrified. Earlier, I'm in the parking garage behind McCurdy's, right? And I'm sitting there in my car by myself, thinking to myself, like, Frank, you gotta figure out a way to relax. You know, like, you gotta figure out a way to just, to just get all that anxiety out. Just get it out, and I did, right there in the parking garage. Don't groan. I played a game of Yahtzee, you pervert. Ugh. No, seriously, although, talking about my dick, that is another place you do not want the rock radio DJ guy coming out. He's in the bedroom. Mm -mm. My wife hates him. Like last night, we're laying there, right? You know, she gives you the wink. You know you're going to get it on. Here I go. It's Frank the Tank coming at you live for about another three minutes. This sex brought to you by Cheap Tequila. Coming up, me fumbling with a condom. And at the top of the hour, you completely dissatisfied while I nap in the wet spot. Oh wait, no wait, I didn't tell you. My wife, she's a DJ too. She's like, this is Frank's wife on what better be a double shot Tuesday and if not, I'll just turn to the greatest hits of yesteryear and give it to the next caller. Thank you guys. It's my time.